Hi, my diva darlings. I was filming earlier and I got a phone call. Um, but I wanted to just come on here real quick. And I said that I was going to do a couple of things um, just to get you into my daily life. Show you my daily life. I have gone into Lenten season, which is the 40 days before the crucifixion of Christ. And I've participated in this event um, just about every year since I came into the body of Christ when I was 25. At 25, I didn't really understand it. Uh, I would give up something not without a per you know, not giving it a purpose. Um, but the last few years of my life that I've gone through a lot of hell, I have gone into Lenten season with a purpose. Last year, I was in a relationship with a man that I thought that it was the end all to be all. And I went into Lenten season and I said, God, if he is not for me, take him from me. I went through pure hell with that soul tie being ripped away from me. Didn't understand it. Lost my mind. Lost my mind. I want to let somebody know that although I went through that and I experienced that hurt and that pain, God did not take me out of here because I asked him if that man be not for me to remove him from my life. He ripped him away from me. That demon could not dwell where God was dwelling. And I understand that now. It took me a year to do it, but I, I understand it now. I went into this Lenten season with clear, laser clear focus on me and God and me getting back in the will of God. I spoke 10 things that I expected of God during this Lenten season while I gave up 10 things or 10 things that I'm going to do in this Lenten season. So it's 10 things I'm giving up with a mixture of things that I'm going to do. And the very first day, which was Wednesday, the 26th, I got up, I prayed at my designated time. I'd get up and pray every morning at my designated time. I spoke a couple of things over my life, my children's life, and everybody that's connected to me lives. So I wanted to, I said I was going to show you a couple of things. The two weeks, Saturday, two weeks ago, I asked God for some money that I didn't expect to get. But it was a blessing that I got it. I did something out of the pureness and kindness of my heart. And I was rewarded with a large sum of money. And with that large sum of money, I was able to buy my son a truck. So that I can get out of this blue car behind me that I'm in that belongs to my ex. But I bought that truck for my son. Pay cash for it. And then I went into Lenten season. Like I said, this 26th, which was uh, this past Wednesday. God started dropping blessings Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and today. Love him. Love him. I don't know how people live without him. I don't know how people live without his will. I don't see it. I don't understand it. Because when I was living when not in his will, it was hell. Pure hell. Oh, I won't do that no more. So I did that to say this. I posted something on Facebook where I got a piece of mail yesterday that took away a debt. That took away a debt of more than $152,000. So I'm going to cry because I asked God to relieve me of all unnecessary debt and under public service for my loans. I have no more debt. I posted that letter on Facebook. I wish I could post it here. I'm going to try to figure it out. But on yesterday, I went and bought myself this. Yes, sir. So that I can release this soul tie that continues to reign in my life. Or not reign continue to be in my life because the rain is over when God removed him from me that rain was over but just like any demon they don't want to let go easily so you start throwing things and giving things and keeping strings attached which was this car that I'm driving now that's getting ready to go back to its owner as soon as he comes back into town it's going back to him nice car 
loved it you know sports car cool said i could borrow it until i can get me something that vehicle that i was in was giving me pure hell and i didn't want to fix it so i sold it um didn't get really that much for it but that's okay i paid off some debt with it paid off a couple medical bills with it and was received um enough money from that to do some things that i needed to do didn't even get a chance to get my own car until yesterday like i said when i went and i picked up that that black car back there on a different set of funds that god released i don't see how people live without god i don't care if you call him the great i am I don't care if you call him Yahweh or Abba. I don't care what you call him. Someone, everyone needs a higher being controlling their lives. I just believe that. I believe that there is a God. He didn't, he didn't tell us to call him God. In the word it says, I am. So I'm good with whatever name he responds to me in. I call him God. I call him Father. Father. Father, your daughter needs you. So I thank my ex for allowing me to drive this car. I'm going to show the tag. I thank you. It may have been ill-intended, but I thank you. And I just want to let my diva darlings know that your girl is good. Your girl is going to be on here inspiring you and motivating you with everyday life issues. Because come on, baby, if I can come out of the depths of hell, then you can too. So like, comment, subscribe, share this video and let people know that, hey, somebody regular, ordinary, ain't no superstar, ain't no millionaire. She out here killing the game with her and God. Talk to you later, my diva darlings. Y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye.